The Coromandel Peninsula. For countless awestruck visitors every year, it's the source of a fabulous array of breathtaking scenery, gateway to adventure activities, a land steeped in New Zealand history. To us, we call it home. The Coromandel Peninsula is essentially this large piece of land here on the top right-hand side of New Zealand's North Island. It's made up of many towns, the main ones being Thames, Coromandel, Fitianga, Palanui, and Whangamata. Thames is a quick one-hour drive from Auckland City. Only three hours away are the North Island ski fields, mud pools, geyser attractions and great trout fishing. We're going to take you on a road trip to show off the place we call home. Our journey begins here in the town of Thames, aptly known as the gateway to the Coromandel. The bustling town centre has almost every kind of retail store needed for such a place. From high-end home entertainment systems to bargain books, from fabulous cafes and restaurants boasting exquisite cuisine, Thames famous hospitality makes shopping an extremely pleasant experience. Large industry also exists. Thames is the home to New Zealand's largest car manufacturing plant owned by Toyota. As we head out of Thames, we travel north, following the coast road toward Coromandel Township. The road follows the peninsula's west coast, which provides picturesque views of the Hauraki Gulf, with Auckland just out of sight due to coastal cliffs. The stunning blue ocean is a haven for boaties and rock fishermen alike. Famous Coromandel green-lipped mussel farms thrive in the clear waters. Coromandel Town is a beautiful respite on our travels north. Home to one of the Thames Coromandel District Council's area offices, Coromandel Town is a great place to stop and stretch the legs. Beautiful streams and picnic areas along with fantastic beaches and beautiful bushwalks are a great way to work up an appetite as there are many more cafes and restaurants serving spectacular dishes all in close proximity. From Coromandel Town we take a right and ascend the gravel roads which ultimately provide us with amazing views of both sides of the Coromandel Peninsula. Again, stunning blue ocean greets us as we arrive on the coast at Kennedy Bay. This area is fantastic if you're into mountain bike riding or trekking. The fresh, crisp air invigorates no end. In the distance, Matarangi glistens in the sun, beckoning us. But for now, we soak up the remarkable views and breathe in the sea air. The clear waters are perfect for snorkeling or canoeing. While we dream of cooling off with a swim, one local has already beaten us to it. Actually, when I looked at the sea this morning from my place up the road, it looks quite smooth, but when you get down there, there's quite a swell coming in. And, but it's really warm when you get in, I reckon you should try it. It's fantastic. We are now about two to three hours north of Thames. Via Kennedy Bay, Little Bay and Waikawo, we head for Port Charles, along with Sandy and Stony Bay. Sandy Bay is an idyllic getaway location. A white sandy beach is the major drawcard. That and the fact that your mobile phone doesn't work, so the offers can't reach you. It's just you and your favourite pastime. There are batches to rent here, so make the most of it. Stony Bay is aptly named. Old Pahutakawas grace the foreshore as the ocean carves indentations into the stony beach. Stony Bay is as secluded as they come, a great place to head after a week at work. Stock up on your food and beverages because if you run out it's a bit of a drive to the nearest store. Our journey continues by backtracking toward Colville.
this road provides awesome road biking opportunities while providing some great scenery. Local islands like Elephant Cove and the Black Rocks are a fantastic location for orca and dolphin sightings. The road south is nicely tar sealed and is a pleasure to drive. Small townships like Amadeo Bay and Papa Aroha cross our path before arriving back in Coromandel Township. Arriving back here ends our traverse of the northern part of the peninsula. The eastern side of the peninsula is home to a vast array of lifestyle options for both the rich and not so rich. As we head across we enter the majestic township of Fitianga. This wonderful area explodes during the summer months as tens of thousands of people escape their city homes in Auckland and converge on this lifestyle Eden. In fact, 61% of the Coromandel's ratepayers live outside of the district, which gives you an indication of the region's charm. Retail stores feature everything you need for summer living. A large marina berths launches of all sizes and local real estate has something to offer everyone, from apartment living to multi-million dollar homes, to caravans nestled on large sections. Uh, we relocated to Fittianger about five months ago. We've recently taken a lease on the cafe behind us. And we love it. We work and live in paradise. It's a small town, which is really nice. You know everyone and yeah, it's a nice place to live in. Fittianger has an inlet harbour, which provides excellent rock and beach fishing and is a great place to take in the sights on a leisurely canoe trip. Out in the main waterway, jet skis and skiers have plenty of room to play. The local ferry at Ferry Landing trips people across to and from Cooks Beach. By car, Cooks Beach is over 45 minutes away, but by boat, a mere three minute ferry ride and 10 minute walk. A major attraction 10 minutes drive out of Cook's Beach is Cathedral Cove. This fantastic isolated beach is one of New Zealand's most visited locations, drawing thousands of visitors each week. The walk can be a bit challenging at times, but very much worth the effort. Only 10 minutes away is hot water beach. Thousands of visitors make the trek every year at low tide to dig holes into the sand, making pools of hot water. The volcanic springs underneath the beach provide a natural jacuzzi. Depending on the wind, hot water beach is also a great place to surf. There's plenty of room for professional and novice alike. Heading south, we venture towards Tairua and Poanui. Before we get there, we arrive at the Twin Kauris. These two majestic 400-year-old Kauri trees stand right on the road edge, sentinels to some of the most pristine bushwalks in the Coromandel. Tairua itself is a town which seems like it has more holiday homes than permanent residents. The main street's relatively small with only the basics when it comes to retail outlets. A stone's throw away is Poa Nui. Although visually right next door to Tairua, it takes a 20 minute drive out of Tairua and around the inner harbour to get to Poa Nui. Home to the Coromandel's rich and not so famous, this place exudes wealth. Million dollar homes scatter the waterfront. Deep water canals mean you can park your million dollar boat right outside your million dollar house. As with the rest of the Coromandel, water activities abound. Jet skis, water skiing, swimming, fishing are the major draw cards. But in a town where the wealthy choose to play, everything is available. Sports clubs, bars, cafes, shopping, everything. A 30 minute drive from Poa Nui stands Whangamata. Like Poa Nui, Whangamata is a haven for the beach lover. A 
a fantastic Main Street has everything on offer. Bursting at the seams with people in the summer months, in winter this town is just as pretty. Immaculately presented Whangamata is a dream location with houses available in almost all price ranges. White sandy beaches stretch for what seem like miles, with plenty of opportunity to get a little burnt if you're not careful. Good schools are available in all of the major towns we've been through, as the Coromandel Peninsula houses approximately 26,000 permanent residents in total. The Coromandel Peninsula from Stony Bay in the north to Whangamata in the south offers lifestyle opportunities that few dare to imagine. So if you'd like to live here, why not work here? Thames Coromandel District Council is passionate about having you come on board. We have many middle to top level jobs available across a wide cross section of skill bases. TCDC prides itself as being a council with a forward thinking attitude, passionate about working within the boundaries of local government. We have a great team atmosphere where we work hard and play hard. Many of our staff enjoy sports or outdoor activities, evident here with a round of inter-council football, just for the fun of it. Thames Coromandel District Council Head Office is in Thames. There are area offices in Coromandel, Whitianga and Whangamata, all offering the best the region has to offer.